Welcome back. Our Feed the Need campaign continues this morning in St. Lucie County. Uh, that's where we are highlighting the Treasure Coast Food Bank and all of their efforts to fight hunger across multiple counties. We want to get right over to Kara Duffy. She joins us live in Fort Pierce with a behind the scenes look at all that they do. Kara? Sam, Stephanie, here at the Treasure Coast Food Bank, they have dozens of programs for people in need. And every year they work with more than 300 community organizations to make sure no one in the community has to worry where their next meal will come from. Good morning. Welcome to the food bank. You can pull up by that young man over there. For some families here on the Treasure Coast, these boxes of food are the reason they're able to put a meal on the table. Unfortunately, the need has grown, and, you know, we try to respond to that growing need and really just help as many people as possible. Krista Garofola has been with the Treasure Coast Food Bank for 14 years. The mission means everything to her, and it's one she can carry out thanks to some amazing volunteers. We had about 10,000 volunteers come through our doors last year. They contributed about 45,000 hours, and that's the equivalent of about 20 full-time employees. One of those volunteers is Catherine DeAndrea. She was a nurse for many years until she could no longer keep it up. She says volunteering here at the food bank gives her another chance to help others. It definitely gives me purpose. It does a lot of things. It gets me out of the house, gives me purpose, and I'm helping people. And I believe that the organization is doing something that I would 100% support. Krista says they're always looking for new partners to support the mission so they can do even more to help out their neighbors in need. Some of them might be retail stores that donate food that goes out into the community. Some of them might be sponsoring events or providing us grants for programs. We've seen about a 34% increase um, in need over pre-pandemic levels. Um, so we're still um, needing to buy more food and, um, and that costs money. <laughs> Yes, Sam, Stephanie, that is a message that we continue to hear from all of our local nonprofits who are fighting food hunger across South Florida right now. Cash donations really can make a huge difference, and that, that's because nonprofits like the Treasure Coast Food Bank, well, they can buy food directly from suppliers, which means it'll cost a fraction of what you and I would pay at a store. Also a reminder as to just how important our Feed the Need campaign is, as every dollar truly can make a huge difference difference here. Kara, thank you. We want to remind our viewers, if you'd like to make a donation to the Treasure Coast Food Bank, here is that flow code so you can scan it with your smartphone and it'll take you directly to a link to donate. We're going to be out here all week long continuing our mission to raise funds and bring in donations at local food banks and pantries across all of our local counties. So we posted more information as well on our website, cbs12.com.